time served. He will not have to pay a dollar's fine. He will not have to go back to jail. Sarah Miller, you led the charge to beat the sentencing. Give us your thoughts as a lawyer of how things went down yesterday. Of course, it's great that Arthur is not going back to prison, um, but it is very disheartening to know that he spent 52 days in custody for a 20-minute speech. And so this is this is definitely a message from the criminal justice system. If you're going to speak at protests, your speech will or could at least attract criminal and penal consequences. I think the conviction itself is dangerous. Arthur has given us instructions to appeal the conviction itself. And for that exact reason, what distinguishes what Arthur said compared to what anybody else is saying online? And how, how are we going to police speech in that manner? And this is really the first time that we're aware of that somebody has been convicted of simply speaking.